Uh, hello everyone, no respawns here, hope you're doing well. So we are back in the castle. This video was meant to be yesterday by the way, but I had a little bit of creative block and just couldn't think of how to finish this area. But it's all done right now and I'm quite pleased with it. So this is kind of the... It's not really a workhouse, but it's a bus with beds in it, which are the kind of, you know, the people who are too skint or maybe transient, shall we say. Maybe do who don't want to work inside the castle for whatever reason. You know, like, um, I think they had it in the Old West. I think this is this is my lack of American history. <laughs> but you know how basically people would travel between town and town, kind of doing, like, odd jobs and then traveling over to... Like, like, like Lenny and Carl in the Light of Night of Mice of Men. That was what I was going through, and those types would have stayed in this bus, right? And I'm assuming that would have definitely existed in the Commonwealth after the apocalypse, because, you know, it's a pretty wild place. Anyway, so it's that plus a wee fishing shack. The whole thing looks really cool. For those of you who are kind of maybe watching this without watching the previous videos, what we're doing is these are standalone builds, so definitely use them within different settlements. But I'm building up, I'm, I've been doing all of these standalone builds recently in the castle and we're slowly, slowly building up to a very hyper detailed uh, settlement. So every single building is kind of fully junk decorated and has its own kind of theme and they're all kind of individual set pieces which is why when you'll see a little bit of tour in a second of the well the main entrance to the castle it looks pretty swish i'm quite pleased with this because um I, I wanted to kind of mix up the colors a little bit which is obviously what this bus definitely does which is grand plus it also i'm, I'm really pleased with the fishing area it's quaint it's very quaint I did forget fishing rods though, I remember that in my decorations. There are actually no fishing rods, but you know, they're probably carrying their fishing rods, so leave it out there, but the whole thing looks really nice. And yeah, I'm quite overall, shall I say it, chuffed with the way this castle has turned out. I'm gonna start trying to finish it off soon. As you can see, we're just kind of doing the outside, but basically on the inside, we've only got... Now, I'm going to be still adding buildings to it, but I do want to kind of ostensibly finish off the castle soon, potentially this week. Just because of the fact that there's quite a lot of structures. Basically, inside the castle, there is, if you've kind of seen me wander through it quickly before, there are a couple of kind of small spaces that I need to put stuff in. Now, the reason why I've avoided doing those is because they're very small spaces and I don't know what to put in them. <laughs> so I'm probably going to do a video soon where it will just be kind of like a little bit of a, as I mentioned in the last vid, just kind of a little kind of... Right, let's just polish these off and get them out of the way. Also, I want to do a few mod reviews. I was going to do, this was actually going to be on the weekend, Aslam's, what should we call it, his Sunshine Tidings co-op. But I've had the problem that a lot of people had with it, where basically I can't get all of the structures to load in. And it corrupted a load of save data. Don't worry, it's fine. I back up a lot. So it's good. But I was like, right, not going to do that one. So Aslam's Sunshine Tidings co-op basically... Maybe avoid that one. It looks really nice. And apparently, reading his description, you have to, like... Some people have tried uninstalling the game and reinstalling it, but I can't be asked to do that. Anywho, I might do it at some point. But as you can see, I'm just making a little kind of junk random. Basically, I just wanted this whole thing to look a little bit battered and quite kind of transient. Like, they've just kind of... Maybe the guys who were actually living here, or at least in a previous few years ago, just kind of picked up a bus from the nearby thing and just kind of dragged it over and just said okay you know, you know those kind of like those kind of not those kind of scrappy houses that appear outside any kind of large but slightly impoverished city you know it's that kind of just stuff that people have just kind of pulled together themselves which is kind of the look i was going for and then you've actually got the guy who runs the bar across from it who's maybe a little bit more organized is taking advantage of this area obviously it's at a much smaller scale i'm just quite Overall, I'm, I'm really pleased. You'll see in the turn, I do actually kind of make a point of actually having a good look around the entrance area a little bit in the tour. Is the whole thing just looks great. And I love how... It's always with this build, it's so unexpected. But like how I didn't really intend to do something that this much outside the castle entrance. But it's great and it really contrasts well with the inside. Which obviously looks a little bit, a little bit more permanent. But still pretty scrappy. Now these parts here, I have to... um to do it twice because I fucked up. <laughs> so you're seeing the second time, don't worry. But basically you get these and you'll see them, see structures, wood, roofs, and basically this is the custom vanilla assets mod. So this is outside where you've got the USO, unlock some objects, integrated menu, if you just go out of that and into structures, wood, roofs, you get these here. And I, because I wanted a little bit of a canopy going over the front here, but obviously I had virtually limited space and these are quite useful. It was quite a pain in the 
dick. I actually completely forgot to put those wood crates back in, but it's okay because it looks fine without them. I could put them back in, it's fine. So here. I just wanted kind of like a little bit of a canopy thing going over the front. I always find these buses really weird because I love doing stuff with them. But you can't do much. Like you can kind of, like what I'm doing right here is I'm just kind of reinforcing it. Like skipping, you know, sticking scrap to the outside. But you can't really, because of the shape of them, if you, you know, you can't push stuff too close to them. Because obviously it kind of, this is what happened with those things. They kind of clipped in. And they were a bit of a... Bit of a pain yes. Shout out to Stacy Plays Fallout, by the way, for these posts. <laughs> so I mentioned in another video how I wanted kind of like a few more posts to use. As you can see, it's in the fences. So this are USO integrated structures, fences, wood fence, so these kind of slightly taller fences. And I didn't realise these existed and she uh, screamed into the void. Literally, she typed that onto one of my comments. I was like, go and use these. And they're really good. So yeah. Thanks, Stacy. Stacy plays Fallout. She's cool. And she found these wee posts. It's grand. So I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't put these boxes somewhere. What was the point of these boxes? Oh, yeah, right. I'm just building more. Th I, I was having a blank. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, yeah, because like I said I wanted to kind of break up a lot of the earth. So I wanted kind of a, a, a walkie area, a walkway. I was say walkie area. A walkies area for my, for, my, for my settlers. And it's looking pretty cool so far. I need to have, I was going to have it, and I couldn't be asked to go all the way back to Far Harbour. So I'm going to have a doggo, because I want a guard dog for the front of the car. There are loads of dogs coming in and out, obviously, due to the um, the provisioners, because obviously I've got the replaced Brahmin with provisioner, with, with provisioners, with, um, with guard dogs mod. However, I wanted kind of like a guard dog, guard dog. But the problem is, I, it was a bit late, and I couldn't be asked to go back to... Far Harbour, because you have to go to Far Harbour. I mean, you can actually capture them in cages, but it sometimes takes a while. And I like the Far Harbour ones because they're named and they're cute. So there will be a guard dog in the front bit here, but there's not one yet. Also, I have no idea where I'm going to put his little dog house. He might get blown up by synths as well. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, well. As you can see right here, it just looks cool. I really, really like... I was a bit worried the building won't be as... I'm always worried of I'm always worried about whether the building is as complex, but the decoration is on point. I do a nice slow tour. The building is good. I use the pier bits. I'm trying to make the use of this build of kind of using like the whole settlement, just kind of using everything at least once. Um, the only things I haven't used in this one yet are the plain pieces. Pieces, pieces. Um, I've actually used them before quite extensively in Nordhagen, but in the castle because they're quite large. I haven't made use for them. I was also going to, and I probably won't do it, just because they're just fucking massive, is I was going to have a vertebird landing pad. The problem is they're freaking huge. Like, they're so large. You don't realise this when I was like... When you've got everything already built, and you think, okay, I was going to have one, like, kind of, like, on a platform leading off the side, but you need a lot of space for a landing pad for one of those things. Uh, so I'm not going to have one of those as well. Sorry. I'm going to have one in Spectacle Island, though, so, spoiler. There's going to be one there. I think the spectacle would be cool because it would actually be maybe like a where because I'm obviously signing with the railroad, so eventually, if you haven't played it, but eventually maybe you get access to one of the railroad, and I'm going to basically have that as where it launches from because it's quite a defensible area. So I wanted to use these pier bits. I was actually going to be a bit more extensive with. I also don't use three of these posts by the way because the other ones didn't go in properly, but. I was going to be a bit more of an extensive pier area. It's going to be, go out further, but obviously, again, with the build area not being as big as I'd like, and also, I know it's a bit shallow. I just, I, I just ended up liking the way it looked. I was also going to put loads of little boats, but they were having nightmares getting in the water during the decoration phase. <laughs> so I just got one. And guess what? We have an outhouse in this build. Are you excited? I don't show you me building it because it was a an inspiration when it hit me decorative it, during the decoration, but it's literally just placing an outhouse. So there's not really much building involved. But, yeah, for those who don't know, that's kind of a meme at this point. Because I just, I always forget to put bogs, yeah? And when anyone asks, I'm like, oh, shut up. They could just, you know, shit outside. It's fine. It's the wasteland. Come on. Just poop everywhere. But I actually put effort into this bog. I did. I did. Also, love the fact that these colours matched. I was quite pleased. It's the things I pay attention to. Mainly because they've obviously slightly reused, I don't know, the colour thing so it matches colour things so it matches really David really 
So again, this is just, I don't want to say again, because I'm not saying again. This is the first time I've said this. Anyway, so this is a weird little, just a, a weird little shack. I wanted just something here, and it turned out really, really good. Nothing too complex, but it looks decent. I also had to fiddle it around a bit. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with this, just the whole thing just turned out so well. Right, so we'll just, again, the... This is basically the whole premise of this little wee structure here is just kind of like... Just catch the eye, I guess, but it's just kind of, you know, a little storage. Little storage shacks, they're everywhere, and they work. Fishing areas have them, it's just full of boxes, and I use a lot of the nautical stuff as well, which is quite cool. I also failed to put a post in. I, I, I don't show you all of my post fiddling, I decided to leave you to demonstrate that posting does not work, just because, like, a stupid fucking thing. And that one, that one there actually sinks in to the ground, no matter what I do. I even tried to put it on a rug, it didn't work. Anyway, so I instead opted for a wall, and the technique that you will see in a sec. Incidentally, right, I'm just going to give you a little meta joke. Do you know how I like my little talk about meta stuff? Yeah, meta stuff. So, in this recording, I have stopped recording and started again, yeah? A while back and about halfway through so like a minute a few minutes ago a few minutes ago right stopped recording stopped when i drink you know all that stuff because it you know helps also and the fact is i had to there was a siren going by so i had to stop and i finished the recording and then my fucking sony movie studio saved the recording so i lost half my recording <laughs> so, so i've already done this i've already narrated this once to a alternate reality of audience members yeah so you'll never know the hilarious jokes i made you'll never know that the 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 top banter that was in the previous <laughs> it's better now it's more aware it's it's kind of ironic banter now so i like this part here um the one issue with it a little bit is i end up not using it there because you can this is where i have a little bit of a crisis of faith and i'm like oh i don't know where to put it i put it there because it pokes out a little bit but i'm okay with it and once it's like all decorated, you don't really notice it so much. Or maybe you will. I don't know. Now you're not going to be able to not look at it. But yeah, it looks all right. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this. This is actually just such a quaint little area, this. Um, I just like it. No, it's just chilled. It's just mellow. This is, this is um, obviously where I stopped recording. And the start, obviously where I stopped recording. So this is actually today's. So as I told you how I had creative block. I didn't know how to continue, including the decorations. So this part right here is what I recorded earlier today. And the stuff you saw a second ago was what I recorded yesterday. Or depending on what time of day you see this. Whatever, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's all right. It's okay. So I just go to kind of like reinforce it. As I mentioned earlier, those buses are kind of weird for like what you can do with them. So I just kind of opted for this kind of light reinforcement look. I did spend ages on the decoration. Though. I'm, just quite, I'm quite pleased by it. I feel I should do a water purifier area. It's a bit vulnerable there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna do a water purifier area. I hadn't, I hadn't considered to do one, but considering it is literally just a water purifier in the middle of nowhere, and considering I haven't done a water purifier build pretty much since the last castle, which was a long time ago, it's probably prudent to maybe do a funky, a funky water purifier build. So there we go. We'll be doing one of those soon. Because it does, it does need one. I think, what did I do before? I can't remember. For the life of me, remember what I did in the last castle. I know we had a giant generator room that was really fucking noisy. And I had a staircase leading up to it from the top. Which I won't do with this one. You'll get this one from the outside. I can't remember, everyone. I can't remember what I did in the last, <laughs> last castle build. I'll have a look, actually. But I'm thinking what I'll probably do is kind of something some of those of you remember my first ever video. I don't know if you remember my first ever video. Are you that cool? It's my tour of Sanctuary, so my original, original Sanctuary. I had basically like a, a closed off area that was kind of full of a couple of purifiers. I'm probably going to do like a modded, updated, funky version of that, I think. Yeah, that'd be cool. Also, that'd be, that'd be good for the... Uh, Good for the YouTube SEO, that one would be. Everyone loves those videos. Really kind of basic ones where I do like generators or kind of shacks. People see, they seem to do really well on the analytics. I don't know why. People watch them a lot. <laughs> it's really weird. I think my kind of more niche builds don't tend to do very well. Like my recent one, I think my apartment and flats video got like, I think it's on like nearly 30k or it's gone over 30k video views now. And that is, that hasn't happened since 
back in the day. You know, you know when this game was like all new. Right, anyway, Tora coming. Let's hopefully I don't delete this fucking recording this time. <laughs> so here it is. I'm really pleased. Like the decoration, I put a lot of effort into kind of making it look a little bit more lively. And you'll see quite a nice panoramic of the entire area. It just looks so much cooler. I didn't expect the kind of entrance to be this dynamic with these many buildings. It looks grand. So this is kind of similar. We're kind of like workhouse area. Kind of quite transient. That medic medical box is around the wrong way. Oops. Sorry about that. But something quite transient. You know, they don't really have any furniture or anything like that. Just a load of quite kind of temporary crates. A load of magazines, mentats to help their readings. That's where you play games as well. That monitor doesn't actually work though. Because the ones that work float a little bit and those boxes are too low down. Anyway, this is my favourite little area here. I really like it. So in the um, USO mod, in theme section, in decorations, there is fishing stuff. Loads of it. And I really kind of went to town and kind of thought, it's quite, quite a mellow little area, this. I mean, realistically, I don't know how good this place would be for fishing, considering how close it is to the coast. Don't know if there'd be many fish. But it looks nice. And that's all that matters. Mutant fish. Yeah, like this. That's my answer to that. Mutant fish, they think it's pretty cool. There's some bogs. Right, so in here, because I'm going to show you the inside, because I do. Um, I spent ages getting that money in there. <laughs> That's where you wipe your ass with money, yeah? Because there's loads of it and it's worthless. That's where you wash your hands. The nuclear barrel is not nuclear material, it's just where the poop goes. It's an empty nuclear waste barrel. And because I get to decide how the RP with this works, there's actually loads of plumbing under there you can't see. Mm hmm. That sucks up, and then some poor sucker has to actually empty the poop barrel. So we go up here, so you can see, I actually put some lights in the little entrance way here. So the whole panoramic of this just looks so much more lively, does it? It's very cool. Anyway, I hope you guys like that and kind of give you a few ideas. As always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns, we'll see what I'm up to, and I'll have a new video up soon. You guys enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.